Today, another great recipe we're going to prepare on the, on the barbecue from a pit boss. Uh, the barbecue we are going to use is not a pellet grill. It's the Kamado we're going to use today. And Kamado, it's, it's a fine barbecue for low and slow. So we're going to prepare a low and slow barbecue recipe. So no beef hammer, but it will be a hammer, but from pork. A pork hammer is what we're going to prepare on the Kamado today. Stay tuned. It's a little bit small, as you can see, but I prepared something. I put it in a brine for approximately 12 hours. The brine consists of um, um, mustard seeds, bay leaves, salt, um, juniper berries um, for the recipe. Um, see the link, you can uh, read it all. So I leave it in for 12 hours. And um, now it's time for the next step. Let's take it out so we can see it. There he is. And there's also a little bit of beer in the brine. Um, I use an, an IPA, a barbecue IPA. We from Fire Food got our own beer, of course, and it's a barbecue IPA. It, it goes very well with all the barbecue recipes. It's strong flavors, they don't mind, he loves it. So I pet them dry and get rid of all the excess stuff you don't want to. And I think. It's quite right, so I'm happy with that. Get rid of this. Then it's uh, time for some rub, and it's garlic, coffee, and uh, molasses. So it's, it's quite sweet, but I think it goes actually pretty well with uh, with the pork. The pork hammers we are going to prepare. Okay, it's time to give it a rub first of all. The bottom, and then rub it generously all over. All the Kamado from Pitbulls. Indirect heat, um, approximately decrease. I uh, do have an 120, 120 degrees, and leave it over there. So not too high the heat, straight in the middle. Close the lid and leave it there until you, when you reach a core temperature of 70 degrees. And uh, when we reach the 70 degrees, it's time to wrap it in butcher paper and put in some extra ingredients. We'll show you later. Yes, we're there, 70 degrees Celsius core temperature. So that's the moment to wrap it up. And wrap it in the butcher paper. Ooh, there it goes. Okay. So that's why they always use butcher paper or tin for briskets. When you created that bark, what are you proud of? The butcher paper will make sure that the bark will stay and will not get soaked. So then we use the most important thing. It is the butter. Drop it. Barbecue sauce on it. That's it. And then it's time. And back on the grill to core temperature 90 degrees Celsius and then they're ready. So a little bit more patience and then we can enjoy the pork hammer. Let's have a look. The pork hammers. They're ready. 90 degrees Celsius core temperature. Get rid of the Smells good. Okay. Whew. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The pork hammer. And it should be really, really tender. I got here the pitas. That's, uh, I'm going to stop it with them. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you'd like to try this at home, um, the recipe is in the link. And um, all of luck with preparing these pork hammers. We used the Kamado of Pit Boss, great grill. Worked really fine, I'm happy with that one. I'm happy with the end result of the pork hammer. One happy barbecue guy. Guys, see you next time. And if you'd like to know more, where can you find the information? Please look at pitboss.com 
Hashtag Pitboss Nation.